Exile is an action RPG developed by Telenet and brought to the TurboGrafx CD-ROM by good old Working Designs. It is a remade, reworked version of a game with, well, three initials, which was in and of itself the second game in the series. So on American consoles, we got the second game, which we thought was the first. Uh, forget it. Sadler is an assassin, and in this installment, he leaves town to investigate some strangers hanging around an oasis. This leads to a bunch of stuff. Searching for a religious artifact called the Holomax, finding special mandalas, traversing different countries, and even going back in time. Yeah. <laughs> This Sadler is quite a busy guy. As soon as you spin up the disc, you get a nice animated sequence to kick things off. Ah, CD-ROM games. <laughs> On the title screen, you can select Beginning or Continue. As you play through the game, you can back up your progress into the internal memory and continue from that point at a later time. And with that, we begin the game in the village of Assassi. S. Assassi. Yeah, Assassi. <laughs> in Exile, there are two main play screens the overhead view and the side scrolling action view. In overhead view, starting with Assassi, you are able to explore many areas. You can talk to people, revealing clues on where to go or what puzzles to solve. Some of these people have funny things to say, and others, you know, say nothing at all. In these overhead areas, you also run across weapon shops to increase armaments and protection. The funny part is, the shop owner never gives you any information on the items, so I usually just go by how expensive they are and try to sell off the cheaper ones. <laughs> Here is where the manual comes in handy, because everything is described in detail. Wait, Egon has a shield? I wonder if it's impervious to ectoplasmic residue. You can also purchase tonics to recover from and heal wounds. As with the weapons, you really don't know what they do without some manual research. Unlike other similar games though, I found little use for tonics, and truth be told, I think I used them to recover hit points maybe once the entire game. The overhead areas in Exile are pretty typical for any kind of RPG, and they aren't really too difficult. Talk to the kid about losing his sheep, find the sheep, go back to the kid who misses his sheep, take him to the sheep who has something in his mouth you'll need, snag the item, bam. You know, usual stuff. Once you head to the desert and get sucked into the oasis, you begin the horizontal scrolling action part of the game. Here you have a sword, some magic, and can jump around. You also have a sweet downward stab, which is cool. The game requires a little platforming, although as with the puzzle and mission solving, it isn't all too difficult or too dangerous. Oh no, not lava! Oh, <laughs> never mind. You also have some magic at your disposal, including the fire blast and the ice storm. There is also restoration, but I never used that, honestly. The fire blast was definitely my friend, often tearing through enemies. Your experience points come into play during these action scenes. As you attack enemies, you will level up. These mosquitoes, three hits. Level up, one hit. Yeah, I'd say that's better. I find grinding here and there a little will help with progression, and you'll blow through enemies later with ease. And honestly, in Exile, it really doesn't take that long to do. These action scenes also require you to face off against a boss who either blocks your exit or holds a secret item that you'll need. Most of them, honestly, are easy as pie, especially if you've increased that experience level. But there are a few that might test you until you figure out what to do. And those are the basics of Exile. As you continue through the game, you'll find items along the way, in chests or scattered about. Some people will join the quest, others will leave the quest, be kidnapped from the quest. But really, you only play as Saddler, so none of this affects the gameplay at all. Otherwise, it's just a groupie hanger-on parade. Get away, get off of me! 
Hitting select will bring up the menu with some <laughs> self-explanatory items. Although some can only be used during certain play modes, such as the map, which allows you to jump and move about the game. When your HP is depleted, you are treated to a cool little animation, and then you can continue from the last save point. In this case, ass assy. <laughs> ass. <clears throat> Sorry. The look of Exile is great with really nice colors and detail. The overhead areas are simple but work well, and there is enough variety from town to town preventing staleness from happening. The action sequences all look great with some nice background and foreground effects. I like the little in-game animations like flapping capes, bosses taunting you before they attack, or splatting ghost things. Yeah. Little touches like snow coming through the windows makes for a pretty nice looking game. The music in Exile is fantastic. Some of it is soothing and serene. Some of it gets the blood pumping. As usual though, the sound effects are quite unimpressive with a couple of simple slices and splats. But it's all good because they're overshadowed by a wonderful music soundtrack. The cutscenes have decent voice acting here with only a handful of groan inducing moments. I am the chosen one? How can this be? Sadler controls quite well in the overhead stage as being restricted to four directions. Holding down button two will allow you to run around the stage, which really speeds things up. In the action scenes, Sadler is pretty easy to control and responsive with only a slight delay before a jump. But the action is quick and I never wished for something sharper in the control department. As you probably gathered, Exile is not very complex or hard to complete. But it's also a fun little game to play through with a nice mixture of action and RPG. There are not a lot of items to find, a lot of stuff to buy, or a lot of hours of gameplay to slice through. Which obviously is a glaring negative and some people will hate the game because of it. I will admit, the game could have used just a little bit more to pad out the experience. It seems over before too soon, which for me is really my biggest complaint. I don't mind the simplicity of it, but a longer quest would have really helped. Interestingly enough, the computer versions are supposedly longer and somewhat uncensored, actually extending the experience a little. When I was younger, I played Exile on the Turbo Graphics a lot and am pleased to say I still enjoyed the playthrough for this review. So while simplistic, I'd say it still holds up well if you're in the mood for a quick and easy romp. And if you like doors. Damn. Exile is not going to knock your socks off as an action RPG, but it has a nice personality and a good presentation. And overall, I think it's a pretty solid game. I definitely recommend you pick it up if you're a fan of these types of games. Just expect to be done with it, eh, probably before dinner.